Hey there. Well, I want to give some tips on how to take care of a few problems. Uh, the main two I want to talk about are if you have a, you've just gotten a computer monitor and it looks all washed out. Okay, another problem is when you go to play videos, the video playback looks washed out. Like black isn't black, it looks like kind of a dark gray instead. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to take care of that. So, you right click, now this is if you have an NVIDIA control panel, if you have an NVIDIA card of some sort, NVIDIA uh, graphics display. So, uh, NVIDIA control panel, and what you're going to want to do is, yes, ch go to change resolution, under display, change resolution, go to your, your selected monitor that's, that's looking washed out, and go to output dynamic range and change that to full. Now, if it's our, if the color looks already looks right and you change it from limited to full, you're going to it's going to look too dark. So only do this if your monitor looks washed out and see what the results are. This doesn't seem to be something that stores seem to know about. You can even call the manufacturer of the monitor and they're not going to know about this either. So uh, or sometimes they're not going to know about it. Uh, I, I suppose by now maybe some of them will, but uh, anyway, that will take care of that problem. When it comes to video playback, um, uh, especially with programs like VLC that they don't want to fix problems because it's an open source program and if there's a workaround, then like what we're do about to do here, um, then you use the workaround. That's just kind of the nature of open source software. So, But this also affects other media players as well. But it, VLC, it affects the most. So you want to go to each one of your screens. Go to video. Well, first you want to go to video, adjust video color settings, select one of the screens, select with the NVIDIA settings instead of with the video player settings, go to advanced and select full. And you want to do that, that on each of your screens. And then click apply on the bottom. Now, NVIDIA has made it clear that they have no intention of making it so those settings that we just changed for dynamic range, those settings will not keep if you have a major kind of update to Windows, like if they give you a new build, like there's the creator's update that's coming up, okay? If you get that, you'll have to redo those settings all over again. If you're running an insider preview build of Windows, same thing, every week or two weeks or three weeks, however long it takes them to come up with a new build, you'll have to do that stuff all over again. So, having said that, um, now, oh, let me, let me state something else. Before you say, well, there's options in VLC Media Player to, to take care of that problem uh, without having to do that. Well, yeah, and, and let, me, let me show you what the problem with that is, okay? Right now, I, I've changed it to those settings. It's uh, uh, You have to change it to, to OpenGL output, right? You no longer have any controls. They're gone. There's no controls. There's no volume. There's, there's none of that. It's gone. And it's been reported for several years now, but they won't do anything about it because, you know, open source. And with this option that I had changed was I, I went to show settings, went to all, go down to video, go to output modules, and this is what you change for that. Um, so if you set it for automatic, go like this, you know, exit, because you've got to exit and come back because it can't possibly change the settings, you know, live because it's using, you know, 15 year old standards for things. But uh, now you'll have the controls like this down here on the bottom, you have this. But if you set it for OpenGL, you won't. And OpenGL is the only way that you can make it consistently show black the right color, where video won't be washed out looking. So, anyway, having said that, um, every time, uh, other things that happen, you know, every time you get one of these uh, updates for Windows, you've got to go through and, tur and disable all of the audio outputs that are not what you use. In my case, the only output I use is my Scarlet 2i4 USB device. All the rest of them I turn off. If I hook headphones up, I hook it up to the Scarlet USB device. So, 
you go through and and say disable for all of those and you have to do it again when uh, when there's an update or if you unplug one of those screens you disconnect one of those screens and plug them in Windows will say oh we want to make this default oh, no stop it Windows but anyway so final thing I wanted to, say, to tell you how to do is uh, if you want to use a UWP app on one of the modern Metro apps you know the things that you any of the apps you get from the Windows Store and you want to be sure that it is going to use the mic input that you want you go through and disable all of the other mic inputs except the one that you want and that will force Windows to use the one that you want so anyway I hope this was informational. I hope you were able to get something from this. And if not, then you just kind of listen to me ramble about problems you're not having. So.